Okay guys, so let's try to create this effect uh, in Fusion. We're gonna base on the um, slide up uh, transition effect that is there by default. Where is it? Uh, yeah, it's here. So let's take this uh, default slide up transition effect and apply it between clips like so. This is how the default slide up effect looks like, not bad. But we want something like this. Okay, so with this transition applied on between uh, two clips, uh, let's open it in Fusion. So in the inspector under transition tab, click uh, open in Fusion, this button. Uh, let me enable spot on the mouse like so. Okay, let me close inspector for the moment. So this is what we've got. We're gonna need uh, media out, of course. Uh, our media in one, media in two. And let me ungroup this slide up uh, group node. Let's get rid of uh, other nodes. We won't need it. So right now what you need to do is to grab a new background node. Connected with the media out. Let's make it transparent. So set alpha to zero. And under image tab, make sure you have uh, the correct resolution. If you're working with uh, full HD, this is uh, the correct one. If you want to apply this transition to 4K uh, timeline resolution, you need, you need to uh, make sure that your background node has correct width and height in, in the image tab. You can also make it bulletproof resolution wise uh, by adding expression to width and height. First, uncheck auto resolution checkbox and right click on width expression and paste this expression here same for height right click expression height and right now whenever you you're gonna apply it to full hd or 4k or any other resolution it will be working so let me create a background a copy of this background node here and in under image tab i will double size the height parameter so i will multiply it by two so it looks uh, like so if i preview it on the left preview so its height is twice bigger than the timeline resolution and i'm gonna merge over my media in one which is my first clip i'm gonna merge it like so and let me preview it on the right and we need to place this uh, media in on top of this background. So uh, in merge node, correct the Y uh, center parameter that will be 0 0.75. Okay. And let's do the same for the second uh, clip, which is this one. So I will copy these two nodes, control C, control V. I'm gonna connect it like so. Let me preview the merge node on the right. But this time we need to have the second uh, clip uh, to be placed uh, below. So the correct value for Y control would be 0 0.25. Okay. Now let me create another copy of my of this background. So control C, control V. And let's merge the first um, composition with the media in one, like so and let me preview it on the left okay now we need to animate the y parameter so it starts from here and and somewhere somewhere here so to do that right click on the center parameter modify with choose vector result that will enable modifiers tab where you can see this vector on merge to center modifier. Now change the angle to 90 degree because we want to we want the distance to be moving up and down. And if you leave it at zero, that will behave like so. We want a 90 degree. Now right click on distance, control and choose modify with anim curves. That will create another modifier where we can further customize how the animation should behave and look like. 
So with the playhead at the beginning, so place the playhead at the beginning at frame zero. What you want to do is uh, to play with the offset so that uh, the first uh, media in our first clip is perfectly aligned and set in the preview like so. Let me, let me zoom in to see if I'm okay. That will be something like this. Yes, this is the correct value. And as you see, it will go right somewhere around here. Let's leave it like that. Let me change uh, the curve to easing and let's choose in and out as cubic and cubic. With that being done, let me make a copy of the merge node, but an instance copy so that we will not have to repeat all those steps again and again. So control C, control shift V that will create a copy of this instance copy of this merge node. And let's connect our second uh, media into composition that we've prepared earlier, like so. And let's connect this to merge node with the yellow line. So let me preview it on the right. And this is what we have so far. As you see, we got an issue with this blank Canva. You can easily fix it uh, by um, changing edges control in the merge node and switch it to ROP. That will change the parameter uh, in our original merge, uh, merge node because we've created an instance copy. So each change we do in this node or this node will be in fact synchronized. So now we don't have any more this empty Canva, but we still need to correct how this animation works because if you see, if we start from zero, this is my starting point, my frame zero. If I go to the end, the animation ends with the second clip, which is not centered. So it's easy to correct uh, by going to modifiers tab in the merge node and uh, play with the scale. So we can increase the scale like so. And right now, if we play it, we got something like this. If you increase the scale, uh, that will make the transition to slide to the slide more times. Let's set it to sound like this. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. And now if you want, you can add uh, some kind of frame on top of it. First, let me copy this background node. And let's take uh, another copy of it. And what we need is, uh, first of all, we're gonna switch back from alpha to, to black color. So if I preview it on the left, it's, it looks like a black rectangle. And let me mask it with rectangle mask, like so. Uncheck solid and increase border. Okay, let's do it like so. And what we need to do is to place our rectangle mask so it's uh, on top. Yeah, so that will be 0 0.75. The border is too thick in my opinion, so let's decrease it like so. But this is only the border on top of our um, media in clip. So we need to duplicate this by using duplicate. So select background, open selection tool and search for duplicate. Let me preview duplicate on the left. Copies two is fine. So all we need to do is to adjust the center. If you set Y to zero, it should be perfectly aligned. And let's merge it over our background node. And if I preview the merge, I should have my frame ready to use. Now we want to animate this frame with the whole transition. So what we can do is to create another instance copy of our merge node where we've already set the animation using modifiers so ctrl c ctrl shift v and let me connect connect it like so so in here you got a background on top of it uh, you merge your frame so now if we merge the whole composition above the transparent background like so, 
we should have our transition ready. Let me preview the media out now and play it. So our transition, slide up transition is ready. If you want to further customize it, you can go back to the merge node, modifiers tab, and you can, for instance, play with the easing. You can switch to custom and create your own spline shape. Let me do it like so. Let's see how it works. Now it's more dynamic at the beginning and slowing down at the end. It's up to you how you want to shape it. So yeah, we got uh, our transition ready. If you want to copy it to another clips, you can just, let's say we got uh, another clips here. We don't have our transition between. The easiest way to copy it is just by holding Alt key and drag it to the place you want to copy. If you want this uh, to be a slight down transition, not slight up, it only requires some couple of uh, uh, adjustments. So let me go back to Fusion page. So what you need to do is first in the instance, so in any of this uh, merge node where we created an instance copy or in the original merge node, go to Modifiers tab, open Anim Curves on Vector on Merge and check Invert. This is one thing you need to do. But you need to also correct this to merge node. Let me preview the first one on the left. So you need to start with uh, the media in one clip should be right now below. So 0 0.25. And this node should be on top like so. And we've just created slide down instead of slide up transition. You can download this ready to use transition from my coffee page if you don't want to make it from scratch and learn Fusion with me. So to implement it, just open effects, go to video transition. So let me grab the slide up transition, this example, and uh, open it in Fusion. So select the transition and uh, in the inspector under the transition tab, click this Fusion button, then delete everything that, that is here and uh, go to File, Import, Fusion Composition, choose the composition from the disk and open. Just go back to Edit page and your transition should be working like so. If not, try to reboot your Resolve and then it should be fine. Okay guys, thanks for watching till the end. Hope you liked that, hope you've learned something. I won't be posting for a while, so in the meantime, check out my other tutorials if you haven't already. Let me know what you think about this transition in the comment. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you haven't already. Cheers and see you in the next one.